Malik, Malik, uh, three of you guys, 30 points. Uh, just how good did that feel to ride the wave of the crowd and somehow come away with that one? Yeah, man, um, it was great. Um, my shot hasn't been falling the last, last few games, man. It was, it was just great to see a few people in. Um, and Domas was big coming back um, and helping us. So um, Fox always going to be Fox. So. Malik, you even called yourself out a little bit last night. Um, what was kind of behind that, and how much do you feel like your team really benefited from kind of having that swagger back? Yeah, man, um, I just take responsibility, um, even if it's not my um, problem uh, or, or my mistake. Um, I just take full responsibility on everything like that, man, because um, it just made me lock in a little bit more feel, um, mentally. And I was playing bad, um, so I, I just let everybody know and uh, let everybody know I was going to shake back. A lot of times this year when, when you've struggled scoring, you, you've bounced back and, and had big scoring the night afterwards. What? How long has that been sort of a, a thing of yours to, to be able to bounce back like that? Yeah, man, you got to be consistent, man. Um, you're going to have bad games, especially in the NBA. We play 82-0. Um, it's always um, great to have a, a, a game back-to-back, -back, man, um, especially because you just forget about the bad performance and just go in with a free mind. Um, but my brother talked about it a lot since my rookie year. You can't have two back-to-back -back, um, bad games. So um, I just try not to do that. Well, to see Domas come back so quick, um, knowing that he's dealing with something that probably hurts a little bit, um, what does that do for, for the, the group in the locker room just to, to see his dedication to the team? Yeah, man, just make us um, fight even harder for him, man, because um, we, know, we know what kind of pain he's in, and um, I know he's hurting. Um, and that just makes us come together even more and you know, fight as a team more. I think that's why we got to win tonight. Malik, when the team was down big, like, what was the move, you know, heading in? and trying to go and get that game? Um, get defensive stops um, and just try, try to limit um, Nicola, man, um, as much as possible um, and, and try to let the other guys beat us and just not get down, man. Um, and we know the shots was going to fall. We didn't hit too many of them last night. We just knew the um, shots were going to fall tonight, so we just stayed with it. Yeah, Malik, it seems like you guys got better defensively as the game went on, like you're talking about, specifically in that fourth quarter. Like, what do you feel like you guys cleaned up that allowed you to be more successful? Um, limited them to one shot. Um, they didn't get um, multiple efforts. Uh, they, get, they, get, they didn't get multiple chances. And um, I think we just got out of transition. Well, what was going on in, in between your years when you stepped to the free throw line the, the first time and, and what happened after you, you missed the, uh, the first one? <laughs> I was talking. Uh, <laughs> I was talking to my old teammate um, DeAndre Jordan, man, the whole time. Uh, that 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 free throw felt the best uh, all night, man. So I thought it was good. Um, then I just had to lock in for the second. I don't miss two in a row. So, well, like you said, Fox is going to be Fox. He had the big offensive scoring output in the fourth quarter, but had uh, the double double already locked up with the eleven assists before that point. Can you talk about? how the distribution that Fox shows really opens up things for the team. Yeah, exactly. You just said it right there, man. Um, him to, um, passing the ball to everybody, Domas passing the ball, me being able to pass the ball, it just opened the court up for all of us to make plays. And um, I think that's what happened tonight. Anything else? Okay, thank you guys. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.